very quick part three to the yarn bowl um, series, which is how I glaze them. Uh, and all I'm going to do is define where I want the glaze to go up to with whack resist. It's watered down uh, probably three to one water to wax. This part's very easy. Wipe everything with the sponge to make sure there's no dust on it. And then if you're doing two colours, it's very hard to do a different colour inside to outside unless you're going to brush it on. Um, but if you're doing one colour around the rim, you can just dunk part way in and then dunk the full thing in. That works well. And then I'm going to do all of this in Midnight Surf. So literally all I've got to do is dunk down till I hit my wax resisted line. And it will leave a small amount unglazed in the middle bottom like that. So what I do now is I just pour a tiny amount in and swirl it around to cover. This is quite a fluid glaze, so it will be flowing down the pot anyway, um, which means that the bottom will get more glaze on it than I put there. So that should be fine. Um, and that application looks pretty good. I'll show you a picture of it. It's finished. Um, we can jump forwards in time a couple of days. I'm going to leave it to dry overnight and it's going in the kiln tomorrow. And this is the fired result. Uh, the glaze is on just on the edge of too thick. So if you can see it there, there's a, a drip just starting to form and any more than that and it could have dripped down and either sealed it or um, possibly dripped onto the, the kiln shelf but as it is you get the really nice flow around all of the shapes so it kind of it redirects and it goes around the holes and same on the inside um, so yeah really happy with how that's come out as long as that hasn't closed gap off too much which I don't think it has.